Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how we can make custom toast using the Toasty library. So, we can create five types of custom toasts. First one is the error toast, and then the info toast, and then we have the warning toast, then the success toast, and finally a custom image toast which will use an icon. So let's see how we can create this type of toasts. For this tutorial, I'll use the Toasty library. So here we have to copy this Maven repository and paste it inside our project level Gradle file. Under the jcinter, we'll paste it. And then we have to go to our app level Gradle file and then we have to copy the dependency and paste it inside the dependencies i'll provide the link of this dependency in the description so make sure to check that now we can click on sync now once it's done we can go to our main activity .xml. from here i'll delete the text view and i'll change the root layout to linear layout and i'll set the gravity to center and the orientation to vertical then we have to create a few buttons here to launch our toasts so i'll create a button I'll set the width and height to wrap content and for the text I'll show error toast then let's give this button an ID btn error and now for the on click I'll call a method called get toast. I'll create the method later in the main activity.java. Now let's create a few more buttons for our other four toasts. So copy this button and paste it four more times. And here I'll change the button text to info toast and the third. Uh, and let's change also the button ID to btn info and let's also change the third one to warning toast and set the name to btn warning and then let's change the fourth one to success toast and change the id btn success and for the fourth one i'll write custom image toast and for the id custom image all right now we can go to our main activity.java so inside here we have to create our get toast method outside of the on create method i'll write public void get toast view v and inside here i'll use a switch statement to get the ID of our buttons so I'll write switch then v dot get ID and then and our first case is r dot ID dot btn error and for this one I'll call toasty dot error then I'll pass the context and the second parameter is the message so I'll write 
this is error and the third parameter is the length of the toast so i'll write toast dot length short that's it and then outside of the bracket we have to call dot show and then i'll call break to exit the switch case now let's copy this for other four buttons all right now let's change the ids now we have to change the tags so this one is for success and the message will be this is success and the third one was for the info so i'll write this is info fourth one is for warning i'll write this is warning and the fifth one was the custom icon so i'll change the method to normal then we have to create a new icon so i'll go to the drawable folder and create a new vector asset i'll choose this one i'll name it ic underscore android and i'll click on next and finish then here we have to write context compat dot get drawable then i'll pass the context this and then we have to pass the icon so r dot drawable dot ic underscore android which we have created so now our project is ready let's run this As you can see our project is ready and when I click on the error toast it will show a custom error toast for the info it shows the this is info for the warning it will show a warning and for the success it shows a success toast with a tick and for the custom image it shows a toast with a custom icon which we created so that's how we can make a custom toast using the toasty library. Thank you for watching.